everybody, my name is Allie, also known as the Freckled Yogi, and today our practice is going to be a stop drop and yoga practice. So our idea is it's going to be short and sweet, and it's going to be something you can just step right onto your mat and get started with. So let's begin in a wide, slightly wider stance than you normally would, so maybe about two feet apart. Toes are pointing the same direction, you can be squared off to the top of your mat or to one side. Ground into the pinky toe sides of your feet. A little bit of softness in your knees. Let's go ahead and inhale, sweep the arms up. As we exhale, we'll feel the shoulders relax away from the ears. Inhale, reach the fingertips a little higher. And as we exhale, we'll reach those fingertips up and over to your right. Shifting away into the left foot. Feel the right shoulder spiral forward, left shoulder pulls back. Keep breathing along the left side body. Really reaching through the fingertips. One more deep inhale here. And as we exhale, we'll lift those fingertips back up. Inhale, reach a little taller. Exhale, up and over to the left side. Left shoulder spirals forward, right shoulder pulls back, and then shift the weight into the support of the right foot. Grounding into the pinky toe sides of both feet. Really reaching through those fingertips. One more deep inhale here. And exhale, lift on up. Go ahead and lower those hands down to your heart. Go ahead and step to the top of your mat, finding those feet right beneath of the hips. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up again. This time as we exhale, we're gonna sink our hips down and back, bring those hands down to heart center, and then go ahead and lower the hands onto the thighs. Find those knees kind of behind the toes, so we wanna have the knees, um, so if you look down, you make sure that your knees are not going beyond the line of toes, so you can still see those big toes. Begin to puff the chest forward, allowing the back to arch, almost thinking of touching the back of the head to your tailbone. Letting the chin lift up to the sky, squeezing the shoulder blades back. And as you take this next breath out, round through your back body, pull your chin into your chest, and really scoop the tailbone under. And again, bring the back of the head towards the tailbone, arching the back, lifting the chest. And round through the back body, chin into the chest. One more time of each. Inhale, puff the chest forward, shoulders squeeze back. Exhale, round through back body, chin to chest. And stand up nice and tall. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands down. Folding forward, letting the crown of the head hang heavy. Softness at those knees. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach the crown of the head forward, pressing back through the tailbone, reaching through the crown of the head, and exhale, fold. Lower those hands down on the either side of the front feet, and we're going to step the left foot back, wiggle those toes back, find the right knee stacked right over the ankle, maybe slightly behind, and as you feel good to go, bring those hands up to heart center. Inhale, reach the crown of the head a little higher, and as we exhale, we'll fold the torso forward. Inhale, reaching forward through the crown of the head, and as we exhale, we'll lift the right elbow up, drop the left elbow down. From here, begin to extend the arms, reaching the left fingertips to the ground, right fingertips up to the sky, spiral the right hip back, breathe down to your belly, and lower that right hand down. Shift the weight forward into that front foot and go ahead and hop the left foot up to meet the right. Find the feet back beneath the hips. Shift the weight into the left foot and step the right leg back. Wiggle the toes back. Strong, <laughs> strong and supported in this left foot. And then you lift the torso up. Hands to the heart. Left hip presses back. A little pressure between the palms. Breathing down to your belly. Fold the torso forward. Begin to lift left elbow, drop the right. And then extend the arms, reaching those right fingertips down. Left hand up to the sky, left hip spirals back. Keep breathing down to your belly. And lower the left hand down. Ground those palms down into your mat, shift the weight forwards and backwards, and when you feel good to go, step that right foot up to meet the left. Find the feet beneath the hips, a little softness in those knees. Let the torso hang heavy. Maybe grab opposite elbows and sway a little side to side. Maybe just enjoy the stillness 
whatever you need. Ground back down through the palms, step on back to a high plank. Pressing back through the heels, reaching through the crown of the head. Let's inhale, shift the weight forward. As we exhale, we'll drop the knees, untuck the toes, and bend at the elbows, bringing the chest down to the earth. Inhale, lift the chest up, upward facing dog or cobra, opening up the chest. And as we take this next breath out, tuck the toes and lift the hips straight up and back. Finding some softness in the knees, lifting the heels a little higher, really reaching the tailbone up high to the sky. Breathing up to the belly, grounding the tips of the fingers. Shifting weight even further into those hands and tip to those feet the rest of the way up to the top of the mat. A little bit of a bend in the knees, torso hangs heavy. Chin pulls into the chest and roll on up one vertebra at a time. Standing up nice and tall, feel the shoulder squeeze back slightly, finding a soft gaze out in front of you. Hands come to heart center. Maybe heel to those feet slightly wider than your regular stance with the feet beneath hips. A little bit more of a bend in the knees. And allow the eyes to softly close. Noticing the warmth coming from the palms of the hands. Feeling your breath coming down to your belly. Feeling the soles of your feet pressing into the mat. And take a second to acknowledge yourself for taking a few moments to move your body. For deciding that you were worth it in this moment. yoga practice doesn't always have to be a really long time spent on the mat. It can be, and that's a beautiful thing if it is. But it can also just be five minutes hopping on the mat, taking a second to come back to your body, and reconnect with your breath, and then go back about your day. Our yoga practice sticks with us as we move off the mat and throughout the rest of our lives. And with the eyes still closed, let's inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And as we exhale, we'll bring the hands down to heart center. Take another deep breath in. And exhale out. Another inhale. Exhale, release. Our final breath together this practice. We'll breathe in and breathe out. Namaste. Thank you so much for taking the time to practice with me. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet little practice to get you back in your body and into the present moment. If you would like to request a class, you can always text me. My phone number is 240 647-9285. Always looking for requests and ways that I can help you in your yoga practice. I love you all very much and I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.